Hello there, I'm Mark Hoss, the author of A Grammar in the Works, published by Bitmap Books. Um, thank you if you bought the book already. If you haven't, then Sam Dyer at Bitmap's running a special over Christmas with 20% off. Um, it's a great time to bag your book, and uh, I'm sure a loved one will be very pleased to open uh, Gremlin in the Works on Christmas morning. Um, I'm just going to quickly look at the expansion disc that we're doing with Gremlin. It was an idea uh, that I had to enable owners of the book um, to get access to new content. So it's quite a new concept really, you know, there's no buying a second edition or a revised edition. When you've bought the original book you will continue to get all the revised data that I've done, all the new chapters that I'm going to be doing. So the book's kind of never ending. What we've got at the moment is 80 pages of, of new content. Um, obviously because it's a digital download it's quite hard to visualise so I've printed out a physical version of the book for you to look at. Um, it's up to about 80 pages at the moment um, and it's in the original format of the book that you'll see so we've got uh, a great interview with Steve Marsden who probably quite famous for Technician Ted at Houston uh, but for Gremlin he formed a studio called Gremlin Lincoln they did some amazing work. Shadow of the Beast was uh, one of those games on 8-bit which Steve was uh, responsible for. Uh, we've got an interview with Dave Martin who was the licensing uh, director of Gremlin. Absolutely keen bringing Lotus along as well as um, a certain famous uh, ninja from the Nth Dimension and uh, the Sweet Tain. Uh, we've got an interview with Mark Gallagher. Mark worked uh, with the Scottish um, developer Warp uh, factory. Uh, Mark did some amazing stuff on the C64, helped with a few games such as Harlequin uh, which the, which the uh, factory was responsible for um, as well as some games which were unreleased by Grimmin which you can read about. Ed Campbell, one of Mark's um, colleagues, um, the artist on Harlequin. Uh, Ed also did work on Zool Tool so we've got a great interview with Ed as well. Um, Ed has just come back with uh, Z Exemplar, which is his uh, tribute to the ZX Spectrum. That's well worth uh, checking out. It's available on Steam at the moment. Uh, Stuart Cook, uh, who did the cracking game Video Kid, if you remember that one. Nice interview with Stuart. And um, the most recent one, which you will be receiving um, this weekend, I believe, is an interview with Andy Payne. Uh, Andy Payne. Uh, was head of Mastertronic for a time and also um, a company called The Producers which did all the stuff which we took for granted with the game so the boxes and um, all, all the paraphernalia that came with the game and his companies The Producers were involved and he also sat as chair on UK for a long time um, so Andy gives us an insight into the work he did for video game companies especially Tony Kavanagh at Chrysalis uh, and Andy also gives us his inside uh, knowledge on how, where the industry went where it went wrong and where it's going that's a great read um, also in this printed version there's a little preview of uh, the next content which will be around next month so i'm not going to give away the game away but there's a little bit of game boy content which you may or may not recognize so that'll be in the next month's dlc possibly some other things as well so that's just a quick roundup of what the expansion pack looks like if you own the book you will get it if you don't contact sam at the moment and if you buy the book then yeah you've got an extra 80 pages of, of content to go which takes the book i believe to about 640 or so pages so great value okay hope you enjoyed it